I'm sitting in the BMW i3 range extender. This is the 2017 uh, variety. Now I've driven this vehicle now tens of thousands of miles, even though it's not mine. It's my mom's, but I drive it a lot. I guess I'm just that kind of kid, 50-year-old uh, kid. So having driven this thing extensively now, back and forth across the state of Michigan, several times driving it when there were no chargers and I just had to fill up the range extender. Uh, Sarah and I have put lots of city miles on this, lots of highway miles on this, lots of range extender miles on this. So here's how we feel after all of that. This is a fantastic little electric car. If you're shopping right now for used EVs, you're going to see a lot of these BMW i3s out there and you're going to pay 20000 or less. And that's an outstanding deal now, now that we know the car. Now there's some quirks. You know, the back seat area is small and it has the suicide door system. Uh, so that's a little uncomfortable and inconvenient if you have more than two people in the car and the people in the back seat have to get in and out regularly. It's a challenge. Uh, also, if you're taller than me, I'm like 5'8", and you're taller than me, sitting in the back seat for any length of time could be very uncomfortable. It's just tight. It's a small car. But there's some real cool things about it. You know, it's an aluminum frame with a carbon fiber chassis on top of that, a plastic body. Uh, it's never going to rust out. It, uh, it's outstanding in the winter. In fact, I'll put a video up at the end of this one where we tested it thoroughly in uh, deep Michigan snow a couple of years ago. And the traction control is dialed in just perfect on the BMW i3. It's really solid engineering. The range extender, we talked about that a little bit. This is where when, when you run out of battery juice, you get down to about 6%. The range extender kicks in, which is a little tiny motor way in the back uh, that doesn't connect to the drivetrain, but it simply charges the battery. So when that kicks on, if you're on the highway, you won't hear it kick in, but it'll start charging your battery and it'll maintain a 6% charge even at 70 miles an hour. Uh, with the AC or the heat running, you can continue just about your life with the range extender charging the battery so it's a it's a small tank less than two gallons it'll get you maybe another 100 miles range so all together you might get close to 250 in, in great condition um, but if you have to drive a long ways and you can't find or have time to fast charge just keep filling up your range extender you have to stop driving like every hour pull into a gas station pump less than two gallons and right back on the road. It's not meant to be driven just exclusively that way, but in a pinch, you certainly can and we have done it. Another thing that's kind of bad is the tires. They don't last extremely long. I just had to order rear tires on this and they're, uh, ex they're I don't know if they're more expensive than regular tires. Uh, they're about 250 bucks here in the US for one tire uh, for the rear of the BMW i3 Rex. That's the EP600. Uh, 175 60 19 I think it is from Bridgestone but the design of the tire is fascinating because they're skinny what are they six and a half inches or something like that I don't know the exact uh, details but they handle like a big wide tire when you're going around curves you don't feel sloppy or splashy like you're walking on stilts which is kind of what the car looks like because they're big 19 inch or 19 and a half inch tires and they're skinny uh, but the design of the tire by Bridgestone is just fascinating it feels like a wide tire. So dialed in with the suspension and the tires, they really got a pretty cool recipe that maybe more manufacturers should use. You skin your tires and you've got less, uh, less drag, less wind drag, but also less contact with the ground, therefore more efficient. Just an ingenious thing. The front on the BMW i3 is small, but here's one thing that friends of ours do with it they put a can up there, a gas can up there, and they carry a few extra gallons of gas in the front. So when they're traveling long distances, they don't even have to go to a gas station. They can pull off McDonald's, run in and get a Diet Coke, while the other one fills up the range extender, and boom, you're on the road for another hour or so. So if you're one of these road warrior type people, it's not something I can suggest personally, because I, I'm assuming there might be safety issues with having a tank of gas in the front, but hey, to each, right, you know? Whatever, whatever works uh, for you. Here's another fascinating thing about the BMW i3 that we found that we haven't found with our Nissan Leaf. When I put a destination into the navigation system, when I put in an address, it automatically adjusts my expected range based on the type of driving I'll have to do to reach that location. 
It's so neat. Now the Nissan Leaf is quite different. You get on the highway, you start driving, and depending on how you drove last is how the car thinks your range is gonna last. So if I've been poodling around uh, the neighborhood at 30 mile an hour, and then I get on the highway, the miles just start flying off. And for 10 or 15 minutes, then all of a sudden it kind of says, okay, this is how we're driving now. This is your expected range. The BMW i3 gasometer, as I like to call it, is outstanding. It's extremely accurate if you use your navigation system. What it says you'll get for range is what you'll get for range. It factors in the temperature and it factors in the way you're going to be driving based on the navigation. Uh, it's just so cool. Another cool thing is the space you have in the front seat in the cockpit. The dashboard goes way out there like that. I can't reach the windshield. You know, I can reach the very top of the windshield, but I can't reach anything else. I could put like two large pizzas on the dashboard between the infotainment or the the display and the windshield if I had to to get home. It's just really you just feel like you've got room. If it's a if you're a two person family, you're just driving. Uh, you, you're not going to beat the comfort of the BMW i3. The seats are outstanding for long distances. You know, when, with other cars, you drive a few hours, you get out, you're stiff if you're my age. Um, not with this. You get out and you feel just fine. So it's not a perfect car. It has some quirks, like I mentioned, the tires, the, the way the doors work, the small back seat. It's not perfect. But it's a really good used EV, especially if you're often driving with just two people. And also there's plenty of room when you fold down the back seats, there's plenty of room back there for luggage. In fact, we took two adults to the airport not long ago and they had like three suitcases and we had no problem fitting them all in here. It was a short drive, it was less than an hour. Uh, like I said, if you put uh, full-size people in the back seat, they're not gonna be comfortable for a very long time. But there's room for suitcases and luggage back there. We did a video about that too, about the space and maybe I'll put that at the end too um, of, of this. The regen brakes are really aggressive. It'll come to a complete stop. The Nissan Leaf doesn't do that. That's my take. I don't know if that's helpful to you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the i3. I'd be happy to help you with uh, having some pretty extensive knowledge of it so far. All right. I mean, I could just keep going, you know, but I'm not going to. Thank you to the members of the channel. You keep the wheels churning on the Positively Charged EV channel. We're so grateful. And the Mug Club. You know you're special to us because you bought mugs. So these mugs, me and Sarah, can make our way back to California very soon to see progress on the Aptera solar charged electric vehicle. Here's the two videos I talked about here. The one where we tested it in the snow. You'll see just how good this traction control is. And the other showing how much space there really is in the BMW i3. I think you'll be surprised there. Thank you. Have a great day. We appreciate all of you.